Hey, Virgo Sun, this is what we got going on for the month of April 2023. If you'd like to make a purchase, you can go ahead and do so at tarotbarbie.com. I got crystal sage incense, personal readings, and much more. Let's get it, sweetie's coming with the judgment, the five of wands, and the hangman. So I do see that things are just being a little bit stagnated at the moment between you and this individual. You guys could have been dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aquarius. Uh, Leo a Taurus and also a Cancer as well but nonetheless it looks like they're ready to come towards you guys and make this offer to you guys you know but realistically you guys have, are going to end up having to make a decision with the Two of Swords Nine of Cups on what is going to be the best for you guys in the long run uh, but nonetheless this person's coming towards you guys uh, they're, they're calling judgment it's time for them to move forward towards you Page of Wands Ace of Wands some of you guys this could be some simply a new relationship for a lot of you guys where you guys may be just getting uh, affiliated with somebody just brand new with the page of wands ace of wands somebody here could also be working for the government somebody who has a good uh, career for themselves but nonetheless the, you guys when you guys get into a relationship or start communicating with each other I do believe that there's going to be a little bit of issues between the two of you guys maybe the miscommunication is going to be all the way fucked up maybe this is going to be uh, obviously this yeah, so this is a monthly reading from April so Mercury retrograde is going to really have an effect on this relationship between the two of you guys especially with the communication uh, miscommunication, technology problems is also in effect here with the four of pentacles in reverse. Like you just feel like how come everything is working against you? Listen, when you know how to utilize every single planet out here, and if you're going to go against it, you're going to get fucked up. So you're just going to have to roll with it and be like, all right, today is retrograde. We're just, we're going to go roll with it. But if you're going to like go against it and be like, oh, mm -hmm. Like, it's not good. You don't do that. You're, you're working against it, so you're making problems for yourself. So just go with it. But nonetheless, uh, this could be definitely a new individual that you guys are dealing with in the month of April for you guys. And Mercury retrograde may also have a little bit of effect in it. Just because Mercury is saying, okay, we're not, we're going to ruin a relationship doesn't mean it actually has to become ruined. If you guys know how to work with the energy of Mercury Retrograde, everything can actually end up being fine for you guys. If you choose to, if you choose to, it's really up in your hands at the end of the day. Uh, Hangman, Emperor, Queen of Wands, and the Ace of Cups. So, so between the two of you guys, the Hangman, you know, the relationship's just not really moving anywhere. The, this person that you guys are dealing with, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, they, they are... They do have a lot of love and a lot of feelings for you. You guys both carry the exact same energy, meaning that... This person, this Queen of Wands is very fierce, very fiery, very passionate, very much so of a lover, very beautiful, very handsome. And then the Emperor is a little bit more controlling, but this Queen of Wands would, would need a very masculine energy in their life because they are already are so they are they are just so powerful already that they would need somebody just as powerful as them by their side emperor queen of wands ace of cups and that's exactly what you guys get you guys get somebody who is just going to be able to match your energy it's like um i don't know what that forget it i don't even know what it's called uh, a power couple that's that's what it that's what that is that's a power couple and then as well here too that Somebody here also of Aquarius and Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person has been partying a lot, but they've been more so healing themselves. They're ready to come towards you guys with the Six of Pentacles, Six of Cups, and the Star card. They want to come back and give to you guys because in the past they weren't giving to you guys properly. So they are going to be thinking about that a lot, about how they want to reconcile with you. They're thinking about you. They're reminiscing about you. They're hoping that they can come back and rebuild their relationship with you guys especially after the fact that they wasn't giving to you guys properly and they chose to go live their life of the three of cups. They chose to say, you know, you know what? I don't want to be really committed down right now, but I want to go live my life and I want to go be free, sleep around, do they do they dirty and whatever the case is. But you guys are just so gorgeous. You're the emperor. You're in the heart of the reading here. So when this person comes back towards you guys now, you're really going to have to ask them a few questions with the page of swords, nine of wands, ace of pentacles and the hierophant. Like you're really going to have to ask them, like, is this something that you want? Are you looking for a relationship? Are you planning on looking for a marriage? Like, what is the purpose of you coming back into this connection here as well? Like, you guys got to have to ask these questions, right, with the Page of Swords and Nine of Wands. And a lot of you guys are just going to be really, really curious, like, uh, really, like, really thinking about it a lot, too. Like, what? Like, you're coming back? Like, a lot of you guys are going to be like, yo, I thought you were gone. Like, how are you coming back after it's been some time of you guys really not speaking to each other, right? So, nonetheless, obviously, the relationship came, came to a fucked up ending uh but they're gonna come running back towards you guys 
And this is going to be retrograde uh, April 21st to uh, uh, January, March, April, May to May. And they're going to let you know, you know, they want to work on the relationship. They thought about it for a while with the Seven of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, Ten of Swords, and the Temperance card. They thought about it a lot. They're thinking about it a lot. They want to work on the relationship. They want to heal it. They're being patient as well. They're not going to force you to do anything. They're going to let you know, hey, you want to work on it. What do you think? But it's so sad because you guys are the Ten of Swords. And it's like, this person has no idea what you guys have been through. When you guys stop the communication between you and them, this person has no idea what happened to you or what you've been through during the time of you guys being separated. Yes, you're the Empress, because you carry yourself as the Empress, but this person has no idea what has what you've been through with the Ten of Swords, which is so fucked up, so they're coming back thinking like, okay, I'm gonna go get my Empress, but damn, this looks like a wounded Empress, to be honest with you guys, that looks like a wounded Empress to me, or a wounded Emperor to me. <clears throat> Nonetheless, they're good. They're they've been they're gonna they're gonna make their plan to with the two of wands page. They're they're gonna make their plan to come back and work on the relationship. A lot of you guys might feel very much so dissatisfied, very stuck in your head, you know. And then you guys, some of you guys don't even want nothing to do with it, and you continue to do your thing. But it looks like they're gonna come back and they're gonna fight for the relationship because they simply just want to be with you. But you're single and you're happy and you're doing your thing. So this could also end up becoming the energy here could also be in July energy as well because it's gonna take it's gonna take some time for the energy to prosper. But nonetheless, like this person's gonna try and come back to her. Okay, forget it. I'm done with that. I'm done with that energy. All right. So the next energy is Virgos is that you guys have a boss figure here that you guys might be trying to get an opportunity from. This is going to be a, an opportunity that's going to be presented towards you guys. So this boss may have, have may also have like a manager or an assistant that works beside them with the Queen of Wands, Ace of Cups. And they, they work with like a great team with each other at the end of the day. And this person needs a couple people on their team with a Three of Cups, King of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. Some of you guys may have already worked here before, but it looks like that energy is going to be coming back in for you guys with the Six of Pentacles. They are going to be able to pay you. Before though, they may not have been paying you properly, but they are going to make sure that you are going to be getting paid properly now with the ace of pentacles to the higher from because you're showing your commitment to this uh industry whatever it is you guys are definitely motivated to continue to push forward you guys may be still learning or whatever but you guys are the empress of the company this energy here is very fucked up i do feel like with this tower chariot and the will of fortune you guys need to maybe get your cars checked or get your wheels checked as well i do believe that there might be some sort of problem with with trains is what's coming in on this energy um with the rail the railroads and then i'm also seeing planes that are also having problems as well okay it's saying with the seven of you need to have that check they need to go within they need to look at it they need to investigate they need to figure out what the hell's really going on that energy is very very strong in this right here with the ten of swords the temperance and the knight of cups and saying that, they'll, okay, they'll be able to figure out what the problem is and they'll be able to do what they need to do with the temperance card to put everything back together again and then you guys are going to go back about your business. So this, so if you guys are looking for a job with the Page of Pentacles, Two of Wands, you guys have been looking for a while, all right? But it's saying that this job opportunity is coming towards you guys with the Eight of Pentacles. It will look like it will be a full-time job for you guys with the Four of Cups, Eight of Cups, and the Eight of Swords. It's saying don't be stressed out about anything. A lot of you guys have been in Hermit for such a long time that you might feel like you don't know how to work outdoors or whatever the case is, but you guys will be able to be just fine. Eight of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, you guys go directly to your success, your fortune, your happiness, and your victory, your triumph, and your also your rewards as well, meaning that you guys are going to have more finances, more stability, more money a lot of money here ace of pentacles is money the king of pentacles is money six of pentacles is money seven of pentacles is money you know page of pentacles is money the eight is money three is money if you're not satisfied with what they're offering you then you have every right to counter that and be like yeah all right i'll work for you but i want that three hundred dollars <laughs> and if they're like sorry we can i mean that you can be like no listen bitch man <laughs> That's what I can do. I can you I need to work for that, all right? Why? Because I will bring excellency to the company. I will bring victory, triumph, everything will be wicked. Shit will get done, organized, the whole entire nine. Show them re the reason why you deserve to be paid as much as you want to be paid. All right? Get that money, Virgos. Don't 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 lack nothing. If they're like, "Oh, sorry, we can't do that." But 
Yeah, fuck out of here. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. You don't want to, but you can. So make sure you always remind yourself that you don't lower yourself for anybody, including a company for anyone, all right? So you guys are going to make sure that you guys defend yourself at all costs with the seven of wands, the six of wands, because of the fact that you guys know what you absolutely deserve and how hardworking you guys are with the six of wands, nine of pentacles, uh, you guys are going to get it. You guys will get it. Even if you guys want to be like, all right, well, you're offering me, I don't know, fucking $20. All right, cool. Uh, so can I get paid $23 an hour then? You know what I mean? It's like this. So at the end of the day, it's like... You just got to bargain because realistically, you're bargaining your worth and it is what it is sometimes. If they don't want to pay you for what you're worth, then let them go hire somebody who is still of a page and who doesn't know uh, the knowledge and it is what it is. You know, you pay for what you you get. You want to pay somebody 15, then expect $15 worth of fucking excellency, which is poor work. You understand? And if you want someone to work very diligently and proper and have everything organized fucking pay them properly so that way you they can they can give that to you uh but nonetheless at the bottom of the deck you guys got the page of cups all right queen of cups and the two of swords so there's gonna be a cancer pisces scorpio who you guys look like you guys are gonna be reaching out to this person sees you virgos or vice versa a lot of cute energy here yeah a lot of cute energy cancer pisces scorpio energy leo energy so this person's coming in to make an offer towards you guys you guys are gonna be like fiddling yourselves and being like all cute and whatever the case is but this person might be a little bit indecisive because they may also have like two people that they might be having to think about you guys being the king of cups and then also the page of cups there's two people here there's a younger water sign and there's like an older water sign that that simply want to be with you Virgos or vice versa and and one of them is like trying to hold on tight to you because they obviously don't want to lose you while the other one looks like they are realizing that they're nothing but an option yeah this king of cups is becoming more obsessed with you you guys got to be careful because there's two people who are wanting to be with you and this maybe four people you know three 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 people one of them have to come to an ending only only you guys got to put one to an end all right, you guys are going to get rid of the Page of Cups. You're not going to want nothing to do with them because even though that they might see you as the Nine of Cups, they, you might feel like they got too many options to you for that. You're just going to get rid of it. This is actually your canon part with the Queen of Cups to the King of Cups, but you have more control and power over them. Meaning on an emotional level, you have them under your feet, which means that this person now becomes pressed. They become more obsessed. You have full control of them. Anything you say goes straight up. Now, this King of Swords here, they're trying to figure out as well uh, what your next move is going to be. But realistically, it's all up on you guys at the end of the day. So they're going to come in. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This one here, this Queen of Cups has more control over you on an emotional level, meaning that emotionally speaking, they're more stronger than you. Sorry to say. And... The King of Cups here, whoever you guys are, you guys know that this one here kind of like wears the pants, but I don't think that's a bad thing. I think it's because you guys care about them so much that it's like just whatever, like you let them lead. It is a, it is what it is, but this King of Swords here, they might be very much so indecisive. They don't really know what's going on either, so at the end of the day, it is what it is. You're just going to let everybody know exactly where they belong, and you're going to boot out the King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and you're going to boot out as well the Page of Cups. You're not going to want either one of them in your energy because the King of Swords is always analytical. You want somebody who's emotionally available for you guys at the same time, right? Not somebody who's very controlling, domineering, very blunt, like, no, doesn't laugh, doesn't smile, doesn't fucking do nothing, just very lethargic, doesn't even want to go out, doesn't want to do nothing, so you guys don't want that, you don't want to be sitting around like that with the king of swords, sorry king of swords, it is what it is, you guys need somebody who's going to be able to match your energy, all right, uh, but at the end of the day, a lot of you guys are going to be putting an end to that connection with the king of swords, and you're going to let them know, eight of wands, five of pentacles, that it's done and over with, and once that's done, it is a done, it's a done deal. That's it. Like, look at them. I think it's the right thing for you guys to, to let them go because look how crazy they end up acting towards you guys. They can't handle rejection at all. Like this person here, this King of Swords, they can't handle rejection at all whatsoever. It's so fucked up. So you guys are going to be like, hey, sorry, you know, air sign. I don't want to be with you. I don't think this is a good connection for me and you. Um, I did the best I can. I'm going through a whole lot of shit. I just don't feel like it's the best thing for me at this time. 
uh, they're going to try and come back towards you guys and they're going to do everything they can so that way you don't end up leaving them three of wands. The per thing is, this, per this person is such a fucking liar. They're such a fucking liar. They're sitting there gaslighting you with the eight of wands, seven of swords, five of swords, and the knight of swords. They're literally gaslighting you. No, I don't. Don't leave me. I can give you this and I can give you that. But yo, the energy is done. Like, what are you fighting for? You're only humiliating yourself. It's the five of swords. You're literally humiliating yourself by doing doing something like this when somebody rejects you and somebody pushes you away and tells you no they don't want it why are you still chasing them for but not only are you chasing them you really think that you're tit for tatting them at the same time it's humiliating it's it's actually humiliating because everyone's aware of gaslighting everybody's aware of narcissism everyone's aware that when you can't handle rejection you come in for the attack you know so expect this person to come rushing back towards you guys very rude, very aggressive, and then they're going to be like, no, come and hang out with me. I want to talk to you. Let's go for a drive. I want to talk to you. You guys look like you're going to go for a fucking drive with them. Like, I don't understand why you guys getting in the car with this motherfucker when they're acting all this crazy. That's fucking weird. Like, what are you getting in a car with somebody who acts fucking psychotic like this it's weird virgos i think you guys need to think about this for a second like if anybody comes towards you trying to rush on you and gaslight you manipulate you and be like no let's go for a drive let's go for a drive when they're already fucking all all the way hyped up and you go with them no huh? that's fucking weird why would you go with them you don't know what they're gonna do behind that fucking wheel. They're fucking crazy already. Psychologically, they're fucking crazy. So it would be best that you guys don't go in their fucking car with them at all and let them know that they can just fuck off. Uh, you guys are gonna get communication from an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person's absolutely heartbroken. They obviously want to be with you at the end of the day, but you guys are listening to your intuition and also staying very much so silent from this person as well. They're definitely holding on to your energy, but realistically, they want to speak to you and they want to see what you have to say. This person might be a little bit worried and afraid of what you're gonna be saying to them, but realistically, it's not that you're they're afraid of what you're gonna say. They're afraid of you hitting them back with the truth because as grounded as you guys are with the Queen of Pentacles, it does stress this person out because they don't know how much you really know with the high priestess to the nine of swords so a lot of you guys are already picking up on this person's energy but realistically this person knows that you have a lot to say to them which you guys are gonna say a lot to them with the queen of swords but they're gonna have to just ex they're just gonna have to understand like yo there's gonna be people out here who's gonna speak up when they're going through things a lot of you guys might be feeling like you're dreaming a lot lucid dreaming as well and then and then also Oh my God. And trying to find the clarity and the wisdom of what's really going on. They're saying that you'll be able to figure it out. You'll be able to figure out what's going on at the end of the day. All right. Then you got this. Oh, man. All right, Virgos, you guys are very wise for yourselves with the high priestess to the hermit card. It's, it looks like you guys have enough wisdom within you for you guys are like total loners People who are lonely and loners like this, it's because you've gone through a lot of things and challenges in your life that you carry enough wisdom within you. So even with the dinosaur, it's like you have the wisdom. No matter the obstacles that come in your way, you have enough wisdom within you because you've already been through a lot of the challenges that it's like all pieces to the puzzle that are having to put to be put together now. Uh, but realistically, you guys see it for exactly what it is. Queen of Pentacles, you guys are fine and grounded. Um, but at the end of the day, a lot of you guys... They said, don't talk about it. All right, we don't need to go there. Um, all right, Virgo. So this Aries here wants to come towards you guys. Expect a message coming in from them at the end of the day. Uh, they're feeling very sad and very regretful that things didn't work out between the two of you guys. And they do want to come back and work on the relationship. They feel like they took the relationship for granted with the world card, the magician, and the justice card. So they obviously want to come back and work on the relationship and make it work between the two of you guys. This person's been taking some time. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. <laughs> Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So this person's going to make their way towards you guys after a long period of time of them not speaking to you. Some of you guys have been going in and out of jail for a while. Just be careful that you guys don't end up back in jail later on with the moon energy too, okay? 
but nonetheless, this person's coming in. They want a relationship with you. They've had to go within with the moon card to the four of swords quite a bit and really listen to their intuition and really go within and try and figure out what's the best thing for them at the end of the day. This person's ready to settle down with the Knight of Pentacles. They're ready to come towards you guys. They're ready to make this move. They want a relationship with the Ten of Pentacles lover's card. They obviously see you as something that they can have a marriage with, success with, happiness with. Yeah, this is your soulmate for sure. They're coming in on that passion bachelor energy they obviously want to be in a relationship with you do expect this person to be meeting up with you in the month of april april 4th april 8th april whatever 24 but at the end of the day this is coming in uh, a lot of you guys have been in hermit with the four of swords to the moon card which is so ironic because with the knight of pentacles uh they're taking their time to come back towards you but the funny thing about it is, is that you guys haven't been jumping. You haven't been jumping at all with the four of swords at all. Like you haven't been chasing this person. You haven't been nothing with them at all. So when they come back towards you guys, you're not going to jump for them. Understood? You're going to wait to hear what they have to say to you. And then when they, you guys meet up with each other, that, that sexual attraction, that linking up, the chemistry is still going to be there for you guys, you know? It's very, very beautiful energy. Maybe even twin flame, soulmate energy, four of wands. This is definitely a wish of your desires to come to fruition for you guys. And it may have been a while since you guys have seen this person, whatever the case is, but they are taking their time, but they are coming for you guys. Uh, even if it's not a twin flame, it's just simply that you guys, are, it's like love at first sight. <coughs> It's just like love at first sight, like automatically. They're just going to be so sexually attracted to you, just beautiful. You guys are going to be sitting down, drinking your coffee or wine, whatever, just staring at each other in each other's faces and just being really cute about it. But this is definitely a relationship that can go and lead into something so much more superior in the in later on in the future. Thanks, cuties. Bye.